Lisa from Photoshop Designs. I want to show you the class of 2020 Senior Bubble Letters template, how to use it. This comes with two different versions in one PSD. Um, very innovative. You can do, you can create a couple of different versions of it. So when you first open it up, you're going to see that there is version one and version two. I color coded it so that way I can hopefully keep the layers a little bit more uh, easily uh, distinctive so that when you're working with this template, it, uh, you don't get confused. So we're going to look at version one first. You'll see I already put in some of my photos. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you'll see that it says here, seniors one. I'm actually going to change that to say clipping masks. So when you look at the version, you're going to see the words clipping masks there. So you'll see that there is already photos clipped to the E and I O R. We're going to clip one right to the S right now. So I'm just going to click on that layer, or if I was using my move tool, I could also click on the layer right on here. As long as it has this rectangle around it, we know we're in the transformation tool and we're highlighted with the correct layer. Press file, place embedded, and I'm going to choose a photo that I think would work well here. I'm going to press place. I'm going to make sure it's over my S because that's the letter I'm going to fill with the clipping mask. And I'm going to press OK, the check mark, right click on my layer, create clipping mask, clip it in, see if I need to move it around. You might need to open up the free transformation tool again using Command or Control T to resize it and move it, or you might be able to just get click right on the layer using your move tool and depending upon how you have your Photoshop set up. If you have your move tool set up with the show transformation controls, you should just be able to hover over it and move it. Move it to uh, a way that works for you. Now taking a look here, you'll see that each of the layer effects have layers, the clipping mask layers have effects on them. If you clip, if you uh, turned off the effects, it would take away the bezel the bevel and the emboss. So this is already placed on there for you, easily shut off. Now what you're going to want to do with this template is go to the bottom. It really doesn't matter where you go actually. Um, I'm just going to actually click on clipping mask, press place, embedded. I'm going to go to another file. Oops, actually I'm going to go to another folder. And I'm going to choose this image. Now the image is in, but it's over and on top of your clipping mask so you cannot see them. So we're going to drag it to the bottom here. Now it will be below the letter so that the image comes through. You're also going to see that there are class of 20, 20 on two separate layers. Did that on purpose because the layers are rasterized, you cannot change the text. However, you can shut off 2020 and next year just type in your own text easily using any font you want for 2021. So this will be easy to use the following year. So the first thing I want to do is you can leave it like this nice and bright. You can see the seniors letters come nice, come through nicely, or you can just click on the opacity and bring your opacity down a little bit to whatever pleases you. You can also go to the letters for the class of 2020, right click on it, go to blending options, go to color overlay and choose possibly a different color that you might want to use. You may even want to pick a color that's in your template and play around with that. See if something else works nicely for you. Press OK. OK. Then generally you can go to the other. You can take that effect. Hold down your option key and drag it and it will copy it to the second layer without removing it from the first. Or you can, I'm just going to go backwards, you can also just go to the 2020, right click on it, go to blending options, you can press stroke, you can go to the color, use the same color or a different color if you like, whatever you choose, press OK. and. Um, Actually, I'm sorry, it wasn't stroke, it was color overlay. Sorry about that. And the color overlay is 
still there from the previous one, but you could always change it if you wanted to, just like that, and press OK. So that's how you use this first template. I'm going to shut that down. Second template is also easy to use, actually probably even easier. Um, you'll see that I have the seniors, which is centered more in the middle, class of 2020. Class of 2020 is exactly like the other one where you can click it on and off. You can click off the 2020, type in your own numbers for next year. You can add different colors, or you can even add a stroke, which is a line around the word by right-clicking on it, going to blending options. You have strokes here, which will give you lines around it. And you can also go to color overlay, gradient overlay. You can play with all of those options, or you don't have to use anything at all. And you're going to go here, and you're also going to see that it's going to say clipping masks. And um, I already clipped in to all of the, just the way we did it before, but I'm going to show you one more time. These are already in for you, for me, not for you. You obviously aren't going to have this lovely young, young lady, Sophia, in your images. But I'm um, just going to show you one more time. Go to here, file, place embedded. And you're going to find a photo that you want to use. Oh, I'll just use that one again. And I'm going to make it smaller. Make sure it's fitting over my S. Press the check mark. And create clipping mask. And then clip it and move it the way you would like. And that's pretty much it. Oh, the one other thing you can do, you'll see here, I already applied strokes to all the letters. That's under effects. You can turn them on or off. If you happen to pick and choose photos that are very light around the edges, you may want to put a small line around yours to make them stand out. You just double click on the stroke if you want to change the color. Maybe you want to change the color to blue. You can also change the size of your stroke if you want to make the outline a little bit more prominent. And that is all really up to you. All right, thanks for watching.